What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of uh, the coolest stuff that's available right now uh, and later we're going to take a look at Blade HQ but first we have got to look at the Kumu website. Oh man, um, these are popular but let, let me let me start off by saying I don't think that there's a more underrated um, company right now. I don't think Kunwu is celebrated enough and if you have ever had trouble trying to figure out, you know, which, you know, premium knife you want to buy next or if you, if this is your first time venturing into premium knives, Kunwu has uh, more than one option uh, and some of the best stuff that you can get in this territory. So I need to highlight this stuff. There's stuff here that I did not know was available. Uh, so I will link all of this stuff right down in the description so that you guys can check it out. It does help my channel when you use my links, but that's entirely up to you. Thanks so much to my patrons for supporting me and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Okay, holy crap. Um, we have... <laughs> This is insane. There's so many, like, uh, there's so many good things all in one place. And it's, for the most part, it's all available. Like, okay. <laughs> Let's start off here with the the um, Reverse Tux Chad. If you didn't know, um, Kunmu has a knife called the Chad, which is fully ambidextrous. It is diamond textured titanium. It utilizes a crossbar lo uh, lock and uses PMC60 hardened to... 66 to 69. This is a very good looking knife. Full size knife, blade length 3.77 inches. Uh, the blade finish is Stonewashed Plus DLC in this case. And we have a price tag of $279. PMC 60 is no joke. This is new to me, um, but Kunwu is one of the only companies using it right now. And if you're not familiar with Kunwu and you've heard of, you know, the trend in the knife world where, yeah, their companies use premium steels, but they don't heat treat them properly. The nice thing about Kunwu is they heat treat their steel properly. Now, they utilize steels that we're all familiar with, like M390 and LMAX, but they also use steels like PMC60 and Vanax, which are... Um, not cheap steels, uh, not steels that we generally see on knives that are coming in at, you know, in this case at $280. Um, the Chad uh, is, listen, uh, I, I can't remember if my review on this is live or not. The Chad is a very good knife. On top of that, you're also getting um, a, uh, a milled clip um, and wonderful uh, blade geometry, wonderful ergonomics, wonderful execution of materials. They do not skip out on manufacturing quality. This is the stuff that I live to showcase. This is the stuff that just makes me feel good about searching and digging through so many knives. If you don't know, I have about 3,600 uploads on this channel and nothing brings me more excitement than to showcase real quality. The Padre is another perfect example. Um, they sent me a couple of these models and I kept one. Uh, the Padre is an absolutely wonderful knife. This is actually, um, this is the right-handed version, but they do have a left-handed version. Look at this Vanax HRC 60-62. to 62. I'm sure all people are saying, that's not nearly as high as the PMC 60. You have to remember that each individual composition has an optimal range. And if you research Vanax, you'll find out that 60 to 62 is well within the optimal range. Um, Vanax is currently one of the most interesting compositions in existence. It's also definitely as far as like, you know, the, stu the super steel single compositions, it's definitely one of the... It's it's one of the uh, least likely to find on, um, you know, like retailers and just like production knives. A, a lot of times you just don't have people wanting to work with it. It's very expensive um, uh, for, you know, companies like Kumu to get a hold of and turn into a blade. Um, but you basically don't have to worry about corrosion. I mean, technically there is... Like if you dropped it in the ocean, you're like, oh, I, I I store my knife in the ocean when I'm not using it. Okay, well, yeah, after a while. But for the most part, you're not going to have to worry about it. The other cool thing is at this um, at this zone, 60 to 62, you're likely looking at edge retention that's similar to S45VN, but it's also very easy to touch up and has reasonable toughness, making it an incredible balance. I 
it's one of those steals. I'm sure I just need to do more research on it, but it's one of those compositions where I, I can't really make sense of it. it. It's amazing that it has all of those properties. This has wonderful ergonomics. Um, as I've stated before, Kunwu does an excellent job uh, doing the diamond texturing. They, they do it exactly the way that I like it. Um, the other cool thing is that if we scroll down here, you've got other scale options if you don't want full tie. They also make lefty models of the Padre, which I didn't initially realize. If you're left-handed, left-handed, if you're left-handed and you're feeling left out, you, is that a pun? Oh, if it is, it's a bad one. I'm sorry. Lefties, don't don't let me represent you through comedy. My God. Left-handed people, if you want to pick up the the, the Padre, it, it's available in um, in uh, uh, the left-handed configuration. Um, absolutely. You're also getting uh, in both, I think, did I miss it? Now, on the Padre, you're getting a Timascus pivot collar. That's not Plasma Anno. That's actually Timascus. Again, I mean, it's just a little tiny piece of it, but it's, it's absolutely... Um, you know, it, it's worth pointing out for sure. The Pulsar is still here. I don't know if the, this is a carbon fiber Pulsar. What are they using here? LMAX 60 to 62, which is also appropriate. They also have uh, the Vanex uh, Orion 3, uh, which is another wonderful knife. I, I feel like they used to do this in LMAX. Now they're doing it in Vanax. So if you've you know, if you like the uh, profile of the uh, Orion, this is an eight and a quarter inch knife. They're do, they, they do a lot of full size stuff. Uh, again, that one's offered in Vanex. Uh, the Sheep's Foot Towel, which is another one that I have and uh, I'm using a lot. Um, I, this one has the wire clip on it and is also Vanex. But I think all of these use the same slotted. Yeah, you can actually buy the milled clip for $22 and attach it to um, some of these models that are utilizing the wire clip if you don't like the wire clip. You can also buy knives like the Tau Compact for $199. Um, they have the uh, full titanium pulsars and various scales, right? Like some of these pulsars are coming in at 180. The big Tau. What is this steel on the big Tau? Is this M390? Yeah, still using. But look at this. Look at the look at the numbers. 61 to 62. Kun Wu is under-celebrated. They are celebrated, definitely, but under-celebrated. I have to point this out. I've never actually done a tour of the Kun Wu website, and it's just as much as I shout them from the rooftops on my channel, they really deserve more attention. So seriously, do yourself a favor and check out this website. Uh, I, I, I've never met somebody or talked to somebody who was overly disappointed in a Kunwu knife, and anybody who has ever had the slightest issue, uh, um, it, they they have had them their issues resolved. Um, the uh, the owner of this company is uh, absolutely somebody that you can contact and talk to, um, and it's just great all the way around. This is a really fantastic company, so check them out. Okay, let's move on here because there's um, some new things we haven't done Blade HQ in about a month and I want to highlight a few things because I've noticed that a an incredibly underrated knife has actually landed at Blade HQ and I'd like to find where it is. I happen to cross it by accident. So we're going to go through new arrivals and see if it just pops up. But it's absolutely worth. This is a, another knife that I'm going to be covering this weekend along with the uh I think I'm going to talk about the Padre again. Oof, I got to shovel some more coal into the engines here. There we go. Um yeah, let's go ahead and just kind of go down the list here. Bear Ops, no thanks. Beyond EDC, I don't know anything about Beyond EDC. Flytanium Lotus G10 scales for Spider Co. Pair 3. That's actually kind of neat. Are these contoured? Hang on a second. Are these contoured? I can't tell. <laughs> I can't tell. Kind of neat. The idea of a contoured uh, pair of three is pretty cool. Some more dagger knives. I'm going to be speeding through this a little bit. I'll, I'll have Blade HQ listed down below as well. Um, You'll be seeing this. I'm recording this on a Friday morning, but you'll be seeing this if you watch it the moment it's uploaded. You'll be seeing it on a Saturday morning. So this will be accurate within a 24-hour period. Um, let's keep going here. Some interesting things. I do have both of these models coming from Concept. The Tuckamore and the Fenrir Liner Lock. Fenrir Liner Lock. Uh, those will both be on the way here. The Shikari making a comeback. The Shikari Button Lock. That's interesting. And it's a budget. I got a, a message uh, concept. They didn't offer me that one. 
<laughs> That's actually interesting. Okay, uh, let's move on here to page four. How far back is this? How far off was I? I'm so late introducing, I, I know I'm speeding through this guys, but there's a model that I really want you to see. And I have clearly met, there's a, there's a Manandi sitting here in carbon fiber. That's amazing. Um, hold on, I gotta read the review. I've just, I'm sorry. Whoever left less than a five star review on this knife is just, is wrong. <laughs> I just have to read it. I gotta know, I gotta know what they said. Fit and finish issue. Like the feel of the blade was super slice of it, it feels really premium ham. However, the pocket clip came bent out of the box. It does not appear it was returned based on when I got the I really expect better from it. Zero quality quality of the clip. Dude, uh, William B. They have a warranty. They have a warranty, dude. Like, I, I would say uh, a proper way to do this is send it back, at, have them fix the issue, and then get it back, and then leave your review. I, I don't know, like this is, that that's a weird thing. Overpriced, this is a very nice knife, but I do not think it's worth 400. It's $575, that's just a, did the person even buy it? Man, dude, some people who leave reviews, I swear to God, it's always, it's always just a, a hefty helping of idiot soup. Like, I mean, I know you could say like, you only agree with the people who have good, I mean, it depends on the knife, right? But if you ever want, if you ever want a good laugh, go read <laughs> some of the reviews on some of these knives. Squid Industries Swordfish. It's interesting. It's blue. Okay, I know. It, listen, if I can't find it, do we have? Oh, uh, let's let's point this out. The Microtech Standard Issue MSI Ramlock Knife Dark Earth in M390 and Polymer for $175. Now, let's be fair. If this were the Benchmade tagged out in S30V and Polymer for 180, everyone would be holding hands, turning their cheeks inward and taking the fattest dump all over. That's already happened. That happens all the time, right? Now, the psychology changes when we look at a Microtech who are, we have, we have become accustomed to them being so hilariously overpriced that when they do something like this, it's a miracle. Admittedly though, uh, Microtech does tend to bring more quality to the table and we sort of blindly put M390 on a pedestal over S30V because of what? Because of edge retention? Okay, well, there's other balance uh, attributes that we have to consider. S30V is tougher than M390. It's easier to touch up. It also has excellent uh, corrosion resistance and all the way around is a better balance steel that is uh, more beneficial in a wider uh, scenario of, you know, a wider, um, in wider usage scenarios. God, can't talk today. Um, so, and let's, let's also remember that um, Duratech 20CV is the um, original version of M390. Do you know how old that steel is for anybody saying, yeah, but S30V is so old. It's not, and, CPM 20 CV, which originally, or which is the same thing as M390 and was originally Duratech 20 CV. I think the patent was in like 1990 or 1989. So if that's your foundation for, you know, reasoning there, comparing the two, it's just wrong. Um, but the Microtech has the RAM lock, which is pretty impressive. Uh, and again, their overall fit and finish, overall quality, overall execution makes people feel a little more comfortable about spending that type of money. My conclusion here is I've handled the G10 version of this and it's outstanding and I would definitely pay what they're asking for it. This honestly seems like an excellent deal. Um, you know, so I'm actually pretty excited about it. Um, here's, here's what we can't do. Here's, here's something that just doesn't make any sense is the $270 version of the tagged out, tag it out or tagged out. Did I say tag it out? Tagged out. <laughs> Whoops. The Microtech exclusive Desert Warrior Ultratech, yeah, if you want to pay $429 for that, you knock yourself out. Um, that's fine. I think uh, people like to collect those for obvious reasons. It's just funny. There's an Auto uh, Socom Elite, the USA version, sitting right here in serration. So if you like serrations, there you go. Um, let's see. Come on now. Is it really that far back? There's no way. The nice thing is that within the first 10 pages, there's only a few things that I find interesting anyway. There is a 
Microtech LUDT in black plain edge sitting right here. Another, so, I mean, this is just obviously just gone missed, right? I mean, that's something that someone will pick up immediately upon seeing this video. Um, but I mean, it's worth going back. I always go back about like, you know, 10 to 15 pages. Um, let's go ahead and type it in uh, because you guys need to know about this. Uh, goat axle, yeah. This right here, these beautiful babies just sitting. I just received this knife. Um, now we have a few different versions. We have um, the black, uh, I think this is like black titanium with jade. This is JG10, I think it looks like. I received this version. This is a bigger, more robust, I mean, a lot of people are gonna say right off the bat, it looks like the bug out. Yeah, there's a bajillion knives that look like the bug out, right? The bug out's not an original, like it's just, the bug out is just a really thin knife that has a plain handle profile and a drop point blade. There's a bajillion, nobody's copying anybody, it's just knife, right? Bigger, more robust, contoured scales, contoured titanium, crossbar lock, we have M390. This is made by Riot. This is made by Riot, guys. They, this is running on phosphor bronze and is just exquisite. It's bigger, 8.2 inches overall, three and a half inch blade. The overall fit and finish of this knife is fantastic. The pocket clip is fantastic. They're definitely using more robust Omega Springs on this thing. And at $255 for a Riot, anybody who's familiar with Riot quality, uh, yeah. Um, spoiler alert, I'm, I'm going to recommend this knife. Um, you guys may or may not have seen me unbox it. I think the unboxing is actually scheduled for this weekend. Um, and then I'm also going to be highlighting it again on a on an episode of Five Cool Knives because it, it really is that great. Um, these are sitting here and I, I don't know that a lot of people know about them. I saw an Instagram reel of this knife and thought, who the heck makes that? Reached out to the uh, company and uh, you know they provided a sample for me to look at and wow, it is amazing. I've, I've been carrying this knife for a couple of days now and I am very happy with it. It also is not showcasing the beautiful finish on the blade. We have a high polished tumbled finish that just looks fantastic. This is a very, very well designed knife. And at $250, uh, it just kind of blows my mind. I mean, I really expect something like this with a Riot manufacturing, uh, with Riot manufacturing quality to be over $300. So pretty awesome. Um, again, I'm gonna link um, the Kunwu page down below because there's just, there's so many people who have not discovered Kunwu that need to check them out. Um, so you'll see that page, you'll see the Blade HQ new arrivals page, and you'll see a uh, specific link for the Olo Knives uh, Goat Axle, or AXL. Um, so uh, yeah, uh, feel free to check those out. That's really all I wanted to talk about today, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have Lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.